Well, it's been about a year now since the government's offer to business persons affected by the roadworks to apply for compensation. And as Janaya Noel Ferguson tells us, today it was revealed that about half of the applicants have been approved amidst pending court action by those who feel the compensation is too little and too late. A waiver of real property tax and a discount for advertising with the Broadcasting Corporation are just some of the incentives the government is offering to those businesses that suffered loss due to the Roadworks program. And while many are already taking advantage of these options, Minister of State and the Ministry of Finance, Mr. Michael Alkita says more and more businesses are looking at the option of receiving a rebate off of their electricity bills. This plan is non-cash where the government is not really coming up with, with any um, money to say grant money the we are using some of the receivables that BEC owes to to the government so it's not direct cash but for example if we have um, made some contributions to BEC to help support them then we are using that to offset the cost of, of this um, program and although many like the Coconut Grove Business League has said what the government is offering is not enough and have moved to take legal action against the government, Hakita says their biggest bone of contention is the root of the roadways. Those who say, well, you know, the microloan is small or the relief is small. Firstly, I think um, the majority of the businesses that were affected were small businesses and um, we think we can help them. And... Secondly, we have not closed the door in our discussions with the medium and larger sized businesses. And to the extent that we can, we, as a matter of fact, we are speaking with several of them to cater some solution that would, that would be beneficial to them. Now, since the compensation program was launched late last year for businesses, Mr. Alkita said that some 22 businesses have already been approved out of the 58 that apply. He said that the process is ongoing. Now, this is a stark difference from the 330 businesses that were surveyed under the former administration. When we unveiled it, it was towards the end of the year and, you know, individuals, you know, might not have, have gotten the news. And um, some people have gone out of business. They might not be clear that it actually applies to them still, and it does because, you know, there is some relief for people who have gone out of business. And um, people continue to apply. So we're hopeful that, you know, the maximum amount of people come forward and, um, and take advantage of, of the program. Now, Halkita suspects that some six to 800 businesses were affected by the Roadworks program. He's encouraging all business persons who may have been affected to come forward. The deadline. Zednas Network News.